Hello everybody and welcome to Wine Library TV. I am your host, thumb in the eye, Gary Vay, Nur, Chuck, and this my friends, oh this, is the Thunder Show, AKA the internet's most passionate wine program. And we've got a phenomenal show today. I am so sick and tired of people telling me they're not interested. I, I recommended a wine to somebody on the floor the other day and I said, oh they got an 89. I mean, the 89 is like the scariest thing in the wine world ever. Forget about the Oak Monster. Ah, the Oak Monster is a little baby compared to the 89 point score from Parker Spectator. It's like the scarlet letter A. You put an 89 point score in a wine, it's like right here and nobody wants to touch it. And I think that is absolute ludicrous. I mean, that is one of the reasons I kind of am upset with myself that I score wine, um, but unfortunately I say it again, it's what I want to do and so I know it's flawed in some of the mission that we're uh, talking about, but I also preface it with, if it's the first time you're watching, everything I review here today, I hope you do not give a crap about and you trust your own palate. What I'm most passionate about is you try as many different kinds of wines. Doesn't mean lots of different Pinot Noirs. No, I mean different varietals, different blends, different wines from all over the world, whether they're Greece or Hungary or South Africa, Chenin Blanc, Petit Verdot, whatever it is, the mission, the ultimate reason we do the Thunder Show is for you to expand your pal. Shake your pal's hand and go out and enjoy it with the people you love that is the core of Wine Library TV. That was that was pretty good work by me right there. I saw it from the corner of my eye. Anyway, let's put this ridiculous situation to bed with yesterday's episode. I know a lot of you, was I up to three o'clock in the morning and emailing a bunch of you? Raise your hand now in the comments if you got an email from me at 3 a.m. apologizing for the fact that you didn't like the way the episode was talked about. A lot of you blame me for throwing Mott and some of the other people under the bus or the fact that I shouldn't have mentioned why we didn't show it by saying that the wine won the blind tasting, the private label, that I was trying to do, get what I wanted out of it or anyway. A lot of stuff, right? I respect that and I understand where you're coming from. But ultimately, I guess the disappointment is after almost 500 shows, I've not been able to articulate, I guess somehow, um, who I am as a human being. And you know, maybe a lot of people are new and maybe I'm just not doing a good enough job communicating it. So. Obviously, you know, it was a very disappointing evening late in the morning today actually, but you know, I do know where people are coming from. I, 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 you know, I didn't realize I would get that negative a reaction, but I respect it. And you know what, this is how we're gonna handle it. Just, you know, I'm still not gonna post it because I think like, but there's a lot of people who do wanna see it and here's what we're gonna do. Cause I wanna razz you a little bit more. <laughs> no, thanks for agreeing to do this. But you're gonna auto reply it anyway, so it's gonna be easy. If you want to see the full episode in his retirement, so there's no editing, and you could see what happened. I love the people who think I, it was Vaniac Cab and I panned it or I didn't want to show some wine getting panned. I mean, we'll get there. One day, hopefully we'll cross paths. If you've had a drink with me or dinner, I think you wouldn't have believed it. But for the people that doubted, um, one day we'll cross paths because it's my new mission model. I don't know if you know about this. I want to meet every single human being in the world. Anyway, we'll show the entire episode to you. You're, you're probably going to want to fast forward because you watched the first 18 minutes. You're gonna email Mott, cmott at winelibrary.com. Mott, link it up, baby. No shaking your head. No, 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 they have, they have to e no email you. So, right. No, no, well, no gonna, link. So they no can. link, but I'm gonna email, I'm gonna link up your email so they can just click it and the email box pops uh -huh. up. All right? So link it up, your email, you know, um, link up your email, um, click that below and just say, I'd like to see the, the uh, entirety. That's it. So you'll be able to see the whole thing, you'll get to see all the results, and for the people who want that, and you know, who, you know, Conspiracy theorists, or if you're just curious, because a lot of you, thank you so much for all the people I'm talking about the negativity. Vinvin, you out? Yeah. Have a safe flight. Good seeing you. My friend Vinvin from Seismic. Gotta check out that site. Anyway, um, for the people that want to just see it, thank you so much for all the people that said, I just want to see the results. I know you're you know, honest and truthful and I want to see it. So, fine. That's it. Email, end of story. Let's move on because. Fighting doesn't sit well with me. I think you guys all know that. Big shout out to Tim F for calling me out. He goes, why do you come on the forum and just leave a comment every time something bad happens? He's right about that and I need to get more aggressive with that. I apologize. Obviously, I'm spread thin with the thousands of emails I'm trying to focus on that and obviously anybody in the forum that ever wants to speak to me, please email me. Feel free. Plus, you know, you guys are mean to me in there. Just kidding. Let's do this. I'm glad that's, you know, I'm hoping that puts it to bed. Mott, you know, it was a sad, dark era in the Vayner Nation, but um, I know we'll, we'll get through because I know ultimately there's just no way you don't realize what I'm all about. I, I just can't believe that wouldn't be the case. Let's say some 89 point wine. We've got four wines here today. 
89 points. And um, different wines, different areas, two whites, two reds. And again, this stigma of the 89 point score is so obnoxious. The entire rating system at some level is completely obnoxious. I understand, a lot of people love it, because remember, every time I talk about not doing it, I do get bombarded. And I don't want to get more emails, so please, you know, <laughs> I mean, you can always email me, but you know, I'm gonna continue to be me. And that made me mean dropping the system, coming up with my own system, like thunderstorm, drizzle, you know, rainstorm, that'd be fun. Like a five star system based on the weather, Mott. Hot, like, an, oh, should've went outside today, Mott. I love seeing you sweat. Oh, I brought shorts, I was ready today. Were you? Yep. Travis, 2006, Monterey Chardonnay, unfiltered, 89 points, Robert Parker, 13 US dollars, unlucky number 13, but a lucky number to me because my beautiful sister was born on July 13th, her birthday's coming up, and I've always liked 13 for that reason, so I'm a big fan of 13, don't hate. And let's see what's going on here. This Travis Chardonnay comes in at 15.2% alcohol content, that surprised me right off the busy, and um, a little bit high, as they like to say. And let's see what's going on here. Light color, nothing too crazy with the color. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. We got the big ass glass in the house today because I'm, I'm just in a good mood, Mott. You know, I feel like it's, you know, I feel like, you know, we took our punches, you know? And, you know, we're, we're gonna still stand. We're gonna still stand. We're gonna make it through the fight and hopefully, um, got some nice emails back from the people that I did apologize to last night. That made me feel really good, actually. So that's probably a lot, some of the energy as well. And the support, I mean, the, you know, Tim, if you're right. Anyway, apples, a little bit of cantaloupe on the nose as well. And that smells good. I get a little bit of like a, a dried apricot meets a little butter, a little splash of butter. Maybe the butter spray, Randy Morton, baby. A little tss, tss, butter spray. Can't believe it's not butter in the hizzy. Let's give it a whirl. Heavy pineapple on this wine. Absolutely ridiculous amount of pineapple. I want to say Robert Dole in my mouth. You know, like Dole pineapple. Robert Dole in my mouth. Um, really interesting pineapple component. Very obvious, almost like pineapple juice on the mid palate. Some good structure, kind of thin in the back end. Little bit of minerality, makes me think of the Macon a little bit, which is kind of nice. Um, I enjoy that part of it. A little sweetened on the back end, a little hot, the 15-2 climbed, I, I think, on the back end for sure. I think it's serviceable Chardonnay. I think the 89 point score is too high um, in my book, for me, of my palate. I'm gonna go 84 points on this wine because I think it's very average. No, let's go 85, that's not fair. Let's go 85 points on this wine. Zoom up to Wesley Walker. Ma, from now on, anytime I give something an 85, that's what you do. Let's do it, let's, let's make that our thing. 85, Wesley Walker. Um, I'm, sorry, I'm gonna start giving things 85s on purpose. Um, I feel bad for the 86 point wines, I feel good for the 84 point wines. Um, all in all, just a lot of wines out there for eight to 10 bones that bring this kind of thunder, um, and uh, let me say, you know, mild rainstorm actually, and you know, so just, Basic stuff, I think you can find wines for eight to 10 bucks that act like this, and so ultimately it's a pass for me. Um, and uh, let's move on. Denner, 2006, Teresa, 73% Roussan, 27% Viognier from Paso Robles, uh, 89 points, Robert Parker, 25 US dollars. Um, let's give it a whirl. Nice color coming out of the bottles. A little swirly swirl. Um, my couple more link ups for the book tour, link up the book tour down below. Link it up because tomorrow is Edison, New Jersey, and Thursday is Philly. Um, well, I don't know if I'm doing a book tour at in Philly. I'm just gonna be in the Philly area doing something at the wine school there, but I might have time after or before to hang out, so I don't even know what that means. Maybe start a thread about Philly talk. I don't know, I don't know, just confused, just say hi. Follow me on Twitter, that would be the best, actually. Follow me on Twitter, that would actually be, my, you know what, link up to Twitter. You haven't done that in a long, long time, right? Since last week. You linked up Twitter? Mm -hmm. Oh, see, I'm a clown, sorry. You threw me under a bus. Ma threw me under the bus. Denner, Teresa, 73% Roussan, 27, oh, by the way, I didn't mention why I did that. I just wanted to talk about that real quick. I you know, I, here I am bringing it up. I just felt like the best way on Monday was to tell the entire story from coast to coast. Anyway, um, 73 Roussan, 27 Viognier, Rhone varietal white wines, in Paso Robles, which has become an area that is really conducive to this kind of grape varieties. I, I've really enjoyed a lot of the wines. 89 points Parker for $25 wine. 
and this kind of blend is the kind of wine that really struggles. That's really the scarlet letter A. Like there's so many wines that are 90, 91, 92 scored of these kind of wines at that price point that these kind of wines really suffer. So, you know, maybe it's a 75 point wine in my, in my world and so I'll hate it, but this is an interesting wine on paper. Great, great color. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. After we give it a... I wanna challenge anybody to whirling. Gorgeous mango on the nose, a little papaya action as well, very tropical. And almost like um, chlorine so it's almost like pineapples, excuse me, mangoes and papayas being thrown into a pool. Let's call it your high school graduation pool party. You wanna try this kids, as it's that time of year? Get a crap load of mangoes and a crap load of papayas and throw them in there. And then make sure you play chicken fights with the girls with the bikinis, it's always fun. Anyway, so mango papaya pool is what this wine smells like. A little creaminess as well, a little custard kind of thing going on in the nose. Let's give it a whirl. Wow. I really like this. Great mouthfeel. A little hot. Man, I'm really, am I sensitive to alcohol? 14% might be higher because you know you're allowed to play around a little bit. Um, Really great length in the mid palate. Um, great attack up front. I get like a lemon peel thing going on. Mid palate goes back to the core flavors of mango and papaya. Then it fleshes out in the finish with a nice long ice cold steel blue, like like minty gum, like when you, your breath is not right and you, you know it's like freshens up your mouth. In a weird way, that does that for me on the finish. Long length, 30, 40, 50, 60 second finish, which is I'm always interested in. I get a little banana peel on the finish. I also get a very lively, powerful papaya on the back end. I always like a powerful papaya, Mutt. I think this is Rip City USA, my friends, and I like this wine. Medium to full body, so it's not a full full body, but it reminds me of very classic, minerality driven, classic vintage white Chateauneuf de Pop which normally comes in at this price point, so I don't think this is a ah, screaming deal, but a very solid effort. You like that? That's my new thing. That was fun. Uh, I'm gonna score this wine 91 plus points. I'm gonna up it from RP, go two points with a plus, and I think it's a wine that very much should be seriously looked at, and if you haven't played with white Rome varietals, and you like big wines, and you like big wines in your mouth, and you're a Chardonnay drinker but looking for something a little different, and you enjoy the lobster tail, this, my friends, is a wine to seek out, and um, a great area to go and visit. Paso Robles, not the Napa Sonoma scene yet. Uh, highly recommend people going down there and checking out some of these wineries. And I don't know these people, but they make good wine, so maybe they'd be nice people to stop by. I'm feeling good about this episode, Ma. It's, it's flowing. It feels good. I feel like, feel like I've got my groove on. Mas Corlo, 2004 Cabernet Syrah blend. Um, Vin de Pays, DOC, France. Um, 13 US dollars, 89 points Robert Parker. Again, value driven. Uh, this is where the Euro really sucks ass. Um, I remember this wine five vintages ago being seven bucks. That's now 13. That makes me sad. I always like when Cab and Syrah blend together. It always leaves an opportunity for some fun, fun action. Let's see what's going on here. A little whirly world, getting some red wines. Get some corks to, my, corks to play with. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. It smells like the inside of the turkey that my mom makes for Thanksgiving. So what did she put in there? Is that basil? What's the green stuff? That, or, or Parsley? Parsley, I think you're right. I think it is parsley. This may be the most parsley, basil-y, pickle-driven nose I've come across in a while. Mott, smell this. I'm gonna be shocked if you don't think this is pickle juice. Really? Like even for an amateur palate or somebody in the beginning, this is so dominant. Tell the truth though, don't guess me. Not all the way. No, Vegetal smell. though? Yeah, what, what do you get? Vegetable, vegetable, but I don't smell the pickles. Okay. God, swirl this again. Here, now smell it. I, I just can't imagine, I mean it's so much pickle juice to me. Do you drink pickle yeah. juice? You got it? Yeah. It wasn't opened up, right? Yeah. Folks, here's a little fun fact. What just happened to Mott, you know, I just sent it over. You, the reason you swirl, it breaks it, you did get it, right? It comes from the middle. I mean like, oh, cool, look at my hand. Actually. And it gets right in your nose. That was good actually. Um, I get a very, Dominant pickle juice flavor on the nose here. I get some black currant wrapping around that. 
you get a little bit, blackcurrant and pickles to me get very similar in a weird way. I, I don't know, maybe some scientists or flavor people out there are gonna come back and say, you're a genius or you're an idiot. Um, I don't know, I like it. I like the pickle juice, but you have to know what you're getting yourself into. This is not fruit forward at all. A very, very vegetal and green, very pickle juice. Let's give it a whirl. I like green, the Jets and all that, and I like them in my wines. But this is a little bit too green even for me. It's really crossed over to the green zone. Um, a little thin as well, a little perplexing on the back end. A little kind of awkward. Let me just give it one more whirl. Ma, you know what I didn't do in the hoopla yesterday? I wanted to link up the corkscrew wine bar in Houston that I went to. Rad place for anybody in Texas or everybody go, anybody who goes to Houston, it's a place they should check out. So, Ma, link it up. I'll find it for you, Nelly Millie. Thin, austere, nice and dry in the back end. I, I kind of like certain things about it, but it feels like it's doing everything poorly. It's like, it made an error at second base, it struck out three times, it wasn't nice to the coach, it came home and you know, beat her husband, because it was a softball player. Um, you know, it just didn't do anything right, and that's kind of what I feel about this wine. Uh, I'm gonna score this wine 80 points. I'm gonna give it a pass. I don't see where RP fell in love with this on that kind of level. 13 Bones, there's a lot of stuff out there, especially from the south of France, Southern Rhone, that is a lot more interesting, and that's the way it goes. Let's move on. Core, 2005, red. 40% Grenache, 33% Syrah, 27% Mouvedre, 21 US dollars, 91 points, 89 points Robert Parker. Um, and uh, a wine that has been very popular. I don't even remember if I've ever had a core wine, but boy, do I know about it. A lot of people are hot on it. Uh, great color. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. I get some black pepper. I get beautiful red raspberries, like the big, big red raspberries that are firm and just, per you know, like, you put, do you put your tongue in them? Like, I always do that when they're like bigger. I like to put, you know, sorry. I guess you don't. Great sniffy sniff. Let's give it a whirl. Very polished and smooth. Oh, you didn't know what the wristband was for. Very polished and smooth. Fourth generation wristband coming. Did you see the proof? Mm -hmm. Sick! Very polished and smooth, which is gonna seduce a lot of wine drinkers. This is a wine that is very friendly. A lot of people can get into this. This is strawberry shortcake all up in me. I mean, 1984, strawberry shortcake, you smell it, it smells like strawberries. If you bit it and it was a strawberry, it's exactly what it would taste like. Just very rich and heavy on strawberries with some black pepper on top of it. Cut the top, black pepper, the strawberry, bite it. And that's what this wine tastes like. Give it the creaminess and the smoothness on the back end. I do get some black uh, uh, per, um, grape um, fruit roll-ups on the back end. And before they jumped the shark and went into shapes and pop it out, just pure fruit roll-up, that's what I'm getting there as well. I like it. A little bit of like a purple grape blow pop as well, without the gum. You know, so a very interesting wine. Candy-esque on the back end. That's why I use the fruit roll-up and the, uh, and the uh, blow pop. Nice, interesting wine. Ironically, it has no middle, no mid palate, which is what I would call the core of the wine. Some interesting, you know, uh, some irony there, huh? That is the one flaw with this wine for me from it getting to be a really ridiculous fun wine. It's definitely a little bit more of a fruit bomb, definitely old world people. Psst. Old world fans, leave the building. So. The old world fans are ghost, so now we can show and talk about it. It's got some great fruit, you know, like over the top. I feel like the Kool-Aid man just broke through the wall and said, hey, grape. So it's grapey. Clearly I've established it's grapey grape. Um, I think Parker nailed this on this. I'm gonna go 89 points as well. I think it's missing that one element in the mid palette that would take this wine to the next level and get me crazy excited about it for 21 bones. Um, I think it's definitely something I think a lot of people could get into though. So I think you should definitely seek it out. Um, an interesting wine, an interesting tasting. Um, 
Unfortunately, both lower end wines did very poorly in my opinion. Um, this, by far, the dinner was the wine of the tasting for me. And the core, you know, did its thing. QPR is so important to me that I'd like to see, um, I'd like to see uh, a little bit more for my $21 bottle of wines. All right, so now I want to get into the part, you know, now some people can leave, but now we're gonna chill, you know, like, I, I like that stuff, um, you know? Remember we talked about getting more into, like, stuff we want to talk about. Celtics, Lakers, kind of interesting. You know, always fun to see throwback teams get into, you know, maybe we should have a jets Colts Super Bowl, but since they're in the same division. See, that's what's screwing the Jets up. Um, other than that, you know, really good to be back. Uh, had an amazing trip. I mean, all the people I met in Chicago and San Francisco and Houston and Austin, amazing time. Had a, went to a great party last night in New York City to about 1.30 in the morning. Um, that was a lot of fun. Uh, internet week, so the Webbies and everything. So that was really cool. So a lot of cool people there. Um, that's about it, Mod. I mean, things are good. It's good to be back. I, between my vacation and the traveling before that, came back for like four seconds, and then I went on this tour thing. So it's nice to be back. I'm really looking forward to going to Philly on Thursday. Um, next week we're doing some traveling. The Boston event, which has like 200 people for the book signing in Boston, is next week. So that'll be cool. Um, looking for more great wines. Uh, dying for you guys to come up with more ideas for shows. Um, and that should be the question of the day. Let's go there. Question of the day. You pick tomorrow's show. Link up the three wines that you want me to pick. I'm going to pick one person and do that show flat out. I want the title of the show and the link to three wines. It, could be for, it, have to, it has to be from Wine Library because we have them in stock. So go to winelibrary.com, pick the three wines you want me to do, rock it out. That's how we're going to figure it out. And uh, lurkers, always interested in you coming out. Uh, new wristbands on the way. Hope you guys are enjoying the book. Would love to see a bunch of you review it. I'd love to see what you review it. Obviously, Amazon is the place to review the book. That'd be really cool. Other than that, I hope this whole little situation is behind us. And I think we're ready to rock out tremendous shows for you guys. Because if nothing else, and I can speak for Mod on this one, we love you guys and we want to keep rocking it out. This is, we love doing this. No, Mod? You, you want to go back to the order department? <laughs> Um, and I'll go back to like selling wine for 10 hours a day. Um, good stuff. Thank you. Um, thanks for all the support and um, looking to rock it out. Thank you, Mott. See, that's why we have you around. Shout out time. Happy birthday, Tracy in Florida. Brendan, not Brandon. Brendan Jones graduated law school, not medical school. We said Brandon Jones graduated medical school, but it's Brendan Jones graduated law school. Brendan, I'm super sorry. That was my fault, Mott, don't worry. Uh, leather Palette, Shane, a g great Vaniac, big contributor in forms and such. Uh, wants to thank all the Vayner Nation that contributed to his uh, two-day uh, bike ride for MS. You know, that's what the Vaniacs are all about. That's what this community is so amazing to me. A lot of cool stuff going on in the forums. If you're not part of the forums, you should sign up. A little whistle action there. Mott, link up the introduce yourself part. Link it up. Lots of cool stuff going on there. Hope to see you in Costco in Edison, New Jersey, my old stomping ground. What up? Because you... With a little bit of me, we are changing the one.